What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. And this is our Ultimate Network Panel. And on today's video, I'm gonna reveal three things that your network switch cannot do. And I'm referring to an unmanaged switch, like the one you see right here, this TP-Link. And we also have Netgear switches as well. Network switches are among the most important computer and networking devices you can have. A switch joins multiple devices within one local area network, which is referred to as a LAN. Switches are layer two devices in the TCP, IP, and OSI models. The main benefit of switches is they break up collision domains, which impacts your network efficiency. A network switch breaks up a collusion domain by learning the MAC address of the devices so that when data needs to be sent to a specific device, the switch sends it only to the port the device is connected to. So now that we know what a switch does, it's very important to know what it doesn't do. And these are the three things your switch can't do. First, your switch cannot be configured, no VLANs and no security protocols. You have zero ability to customize your switch. And that's why they call these plug and play switches. Second, you have no ability to monitor your switch. When something goes wrong in your network, and eventually something will, there is no way to monitor your switch. However, in the event that something goes wrong, simply unplugging your switch for 30 seconds and plugging it back in usually resolves the issue. And once again, these are plug and play devices. And the third thing a switch can't do is break up broadcast domains. Like I said before, they can break up collision domains, which is a big benefit over hubs but they cannot break up broadcast domains. And you might be wondering what a broadcast domain is. In short, a broadcast domain is a logical division of a computer network in which all nodes can reach each other by broadcast at the data link layer. I know this sounds complicated, but just understand, routers and managed switches can break up broadcast domains as well as collision domains. And remember, there are huge benefits to an unmanaged switch. They're very easy to use, and they're very reliable. And lastly, they're very cheap. Now, like I said before, if there's any issue with your switch, just unplug it for a little bit and plug it back in. That solves the problem 99% of the time. Well, guys, I hope you learned a lot about switches today, especially what they can't do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. You're the best viewers and subscribers on YouTube. Thank you again for being a part of our channel. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.